Hello everyone, and welcome back to Moss Stone Kingdom, where we are with young Wizard Adept Zane as he meditates through the night to try to solve some of the mysteries of what is going on in Moss Stone Kingdom. In this case, we are working on the saga of the poor pit beast and Zane's very confused feelings for the young new bard who has just moved into town. And we'll go and visit with her in just a second, but we should go ahead and let Zane start some research. Research. He needs to research for 30 minutes to find out the history of the pit beast. Oh, and in fact, I have a better idea. Our young bard is quite hungry and practicing a song to gain a little experience. But since it's early in the morning, uh, and since we do have some leftover fish stew, let's actually send her over. And I think that this will be kind of fun. We're going to send her over to the tower because we'll say she has a standing invitation to uh, look over some of the information that's here in the tower too. So I'm gonna bring her over and they're gonna have breakfast together of old fish stew because Zane invited her to look over the books. There's actually a book somewhere in here and it may take a hot minute to find it, which I kind of love because that's totally like having an overcrowded wizard's attic. But they're going to try to find the book that says that it is the Saga of the Pit Beast. So she's bringing the food. So we're gonna go ahead, check ourselves out, gussy up a little, because he is a little bit enamored with her. There we go. And then he can do some research in here once she arrives. Hopefully the tower will be able to transport her to the right spot. Where are you going, Zane? What, what are you cooking? All right, well, he's making some fresh slop. I guess that's okay. Can we get in the, we can, she's here, yay. We're gonna have breakfast with a friend, guys. This is awesome. Uh, is there something I can have her do while we wait? Can she practice on her, oh, she can practice. There we go. Check this out. So she has been invited over to a wizard's tower, which would be very inspiring to her. Oh, in fact, let's gather some inspiration. Forget practicing, gather some inspiration, Renia. That's what happened last time is we didn't have enough inspiration. And so we did write a poem called A War in the Royal Nursery that used themes of royalty and war for the merchants, but we didn't finish it in time. So kind of sucky. Uh, oops, and it appears I cannot put the fish stew back out or really do anything with it. He made gruel, for crying out loud, Zane, don't make gruel. Here, we're gonna go ahead and like ignore the gruel and we're gonna put the fish stew out. There we go. And don't eat gruel for crying out loud. I can't believe you did that. Go ahead and grab a bowl of the fish soup from last night. <gasps> Look, and Renia has gathered the magic theme. So I do think she has to be in specific places to gather themes about it. That is so awesome. All right, and she should be feeling pretty good once they go upstairs into the new premises. And can they talk while they eat? I don't know if Sims can talk while they eat in Sims Medieval. Maybe you're just too busy shoveling food into your mouth. Oh, they can! Yay! Talking about all of the research they will do to try to help the pit beast. And their responsibilities should come in in about an hour or two, so they'll figure out what they need to do. We can, we can uh, maybe ask about health today. Maybe comment on like being careful with all the poisons we have. <laughs> and Renia knows a lot about poisons because our underspy tried to sell her a ton of poisons randomly yesterday, which was a little bit of a shock. Can we go ahead and get to know a little more? Uh, oh, we can read poem to him. Let's go ahead and read the poem A War in the Royal Nursery and see what he thinks about it. She is insecure, so I imagine once she starts connecting with somebody, are we are we performing it? It is said that oh we were gossiping, that guildsman Diana used to be a fisherman before a tragic whale accident. Have you noticed how she favors her right leg? Oh, guildsman Diana might know about that. Oh, we're reciting the poem. Is this the poem? No, we're just performing a song. Oh, what a cool breakfast these two are having. I like the idea of them being friends. I wonder if Zane actually is more enchanted with her stage persona and the feeling of being an actor, like he might want to perform in more of her plays, than he is with actually Rania. We'll have to see. Prepare two spells and gather herbs or plants five times. 
And then she needs to be inspired by three people. I'll take some time today and look for inspiration from people and perform a poem. I must make an effort today to perform a poem to enrich the culture of our kingdom. That's so interesting. Well, let's perform the poem now. Let's recite it. And see if Zane will actually... Let's have him listen to the poem. Oh, this is so cool. This is the war in the royal nursery. So this is the poem that she wrote yesterday, but we didn't manage to get done in time because she was she couldn't find the theme. But we're gonna say she was a little insecure. What do you think, Zane? Is this really cool? They're gonna go upstairs and finish books soon. Oh, now he's feeling attractive. Did we? Oh, he gave us some money for it. Well, that's interesting. That was cool. Okay, well, let's send him upstairs. I'm gonna have her start reading books until she finds um, the book on the history of the pit beast. Is that it? She's reading Tentacle Terrors, Exploring the Monster's Psyche. <gasps> that actually kind of counts. Okay, we'll let her go ahead and read that while he's over here and doing some research. I love the idea that they're researching the pit beast in his like magic little cubby. Also, oh, look at all that blood moss. I can sell that for a lot, but I might need it for something. So I'm going to hold on to it for just a second. Because I have to prepare two spells. Well, you know what? There's always blood moss lying around. There's also all this ferris. I think there's a bunch of stuff, like, behind our house we can actually collect. Like, more mithril. <gasps> mithril sells for so much! I'm just going to go ahead and sell that. Oh my gosh. Very pleased with that. Crudium. Get out of here, Crudium. Um, and then to kind of celebrate the moment, I sort of want to add in more books. Like, imagine if he could just wave his wand and he could be like, we need to get more of the, the tomes that I have in storage. So let's see. We have, oh, there's a cute little bookshelf there. That might do. In fact, that kind of really, the Magnum Mysterium Archive, that kind of works. I like the idea that, like, they realize they need more, more of the books that might be stored magically in some realm. And so he can just like wave a hand and summon down a whole bunch of them. That book's just a little bit too big. That one, darn, it just kind of intersects with the candle a little bit. But I mean, it does kind of fit the corner. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there we go, and anything, anything, did I spend all our money? I literally spent all of our money, but it's on a new bookshelf that I think will be amazing. So we're going to say that he like waved his, his staff and summoned in another array of books that he had stored somewhere. There's not as much information on the beast as I'd hoped. At least, uh, it has at least one large tentacle, as many as nine, and is female, maybe male, and has been here as long as moss stone. Oh, and it can digest almost anything except for metal. Oh, there might be some metal stuck inside its stomach. The poor thing. We'll see if we can help it out soon. All right. Rania. So I'm going to let her, she'll also get a boost in her focus from finishing a book, which should hopefully help her out with her fatal flaw of being a nervous wreck. Uh, and then we'll gather some inspiration from him as soon as we're done. Don't criticize, but little manhood. Oh gosh, that's because I accidentally clicked on the mean stuff. I was like, what is she doing to him? All right, hurry up you two. There we go. She has now finished a book. She's feeling really good about that. Uh, so she's just glad she can read. And then let's go ahead. He needs to finish his research really quickly. And let's let her gather more inspiration. Because she might, she, she's loving this. Because this is like really well decorated. She can read books for inspiration. There we go. And then let's come over and maybe discuss State of the Kingdom to talk about the Pit Beast for a minute. Hold still, Zane. You don't need to use that chamber pot as bad as you think you do. You can be patient for like two seconds. Also, I have to send you down to prepare some spells. Here, go ahead and view this. Brynia was inspired to gather the skies and stars theme. Maybe it's a nice view from, from up here. Oh, and I have to tell her to stop gathering. <laughs> to have her do anything, I forgot about that. All right. There you go, guys. And then let's discuss fine things because this looks great. But then also confide our worries about the pit beast, ask for inspiration, and then we'll send her out to go check on the pit beast. While Zane must prepare two spells. 
Yay! I'm so glad. Look at that. And they they made oh they made a new friend. Wow, they really are getting along well together. Oh, and we should probably like go ahead and send something to Little Smith Renar and our nephew. I'm so glad they're getting along. I really want them to be able to like perform more plays together too. I think he's enchanted with that more than anything. All right, hurry along, hurry along, you two little entitled things. All right, what kind of inspiration are we gonna gain from him? We have gathered the nature theme. Nice, because he has to go spend his time in nature. And look how focused we are. She's really friendly. Can we just like, let's give a hug. Uh, I'm gonna give a romantic hug, but we're, we more mean it as like a friendly hug. She just comes off as extremely, like extremely friendly. <laughs> So, all right, we're going to go ahead and send her out to the pit beast now. Where is that poor thing? Down here. And we'll gather inspiration from whatever's going on down there. And then he is going to go prepare some spells and spend some time in nature. Prepare spell. Uh, let's go ahead and study spells, I suppose. Maybe that'll work. Oh, there's the baby pit beast. Uh, study spell curse. The evil eye shall cast a scornful gaze upon the helpless. Uh, let's go ahead and forget some spells. We're gonna forget growth. And we're gonna forget magic arrow. And forget spirit thief. Cause then I need to come over. He's, he bonked himself on the head to forget the spells. That's so funny. And I have to prepare two spells. Um, oh my gosh, that's so funny that you just like smack yourself in the face with your staff to forget the spells. All right, well, I need growth, which is light, energy, and air. So let's prepare a spell of light, energy, and air. Study spells. Uh, prepare a spell. Oops. Light, and then energy, and air. Growth will be useful. We'll go and do growth in the garden and gather up some nice stuff. Can you use growth on boulders? I mean, it doesn't sound like you could, but that'd be really good for getting rare minerals. All right, here's the spot. I guess I should look around. All right, we'll be there in a second. We need to ask Kelvin the Executioner about the pit beast health. How's the poor girl doing lately? Anything unusual? All right, let's see. And let's gather some inspiration while we're over here. There's Pirate Lackey Jody. Is that Deidre? Yes, it's Deidre in the stocks where you belong. Oh, that makes me happy to see her in the stocks. We also have Shady Jeremiah. We have Constable Tarvish. Let's go ahead and ask him for inspiration. Uh, Pirate Lucky Saul, Pirate Lucky Jody. Let's ask them for inspiration. I think they're all here to get tossed into the pit. And then once we're done with that, ask for inspiration from the pit beast executioner. And then we'll ask him about the pit beast. All right, we'll be back over so in a second. Zane, did you learn that? All right, he learned the spell growth. Let's prepare a spell. Uh, let's study him really quickly. Let's learn magic arrow, because I'm thinking I might send him to the forest to do some hunting and just adventuring. Energy, air, and light. So we need energy, air, and light. So kind of the same sort of spell, just reversed. All right, and once you're done with that, buddy. Uh, why can't I? Oh, I hate when I can't. I just want to be able to look around. I want to be able to click on things. Uh, okay, we'll collect that and we'll just start there. All right, up we go, up we go. I wonder if I can't work with the constable. Whoa, people are fighting. Uh, this is kind of exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and ask for inspiration from these people. It looks like they've been tossed back out by the pit beast. All right, Zane, you do you for a little bit. Hey, baby. Oh, I can't ask the kids for inspiration, unfortunately. And then there's the town crier Magdalene speaking with the children. So what does this guy have to give us? The animals and hunting theme. And then here's Shady Jeremiah. Whoop. All right. Give me just a second. Zane. All right. You're, I'm going to leave you alone for a minute, Zane. You're going to complete all of your things, okay? So you gather these. There you go, buddy. I'm sure that'll keep you nice and busy for a minute. Oh, and you've got all this cool stuff. I knew there was like really rare stuff back here. So I'm just gonna have him be busy for a little while. Ooh, that beautiful waterfall. And then let's come down here. And then maybe we can gather inspiration from the town crier. 
All right, so we just need to be inspired by like a couple more people. We got the food drink theme from Shady Jeremiah. Maybe he stole something. Yeah, the pirates and the merchants are right here, and the merchants wear green silks, which, you know, Queen Briar Rose really loves. That could create problems. <laughs> she loves her green silks. Congratulations, Zane has reached wizard level four. Review your Simsimology tab for new profession benefits. So he now has uh, the same exact stuff. So, huh. I really thought he'd have more spells than that, but that's okay. And we've- Oh, we got Kingdom and Royalty from the Town Crier! Thank you so much! I need that so badly. Alright, so let's come over and gather inspiration in front of the actual pit beast. You can yell all you want, Deidre. You've got to stay there for a little while. And then once we gather some inspiration, literally in front of the pit beast pit, I feel that we will be ready to take on the next step. Ask about the pit beast help. Well, actually, let's gather inspiration first. I need every bit of inspiration I can get for writing all of these really cool poems. All right, meanwhile, Zane's just out there collecting wildflowers. Good on you, buddy. Oh! Pirate Lucky Jody, you just became one of my favorite people. You threw a tomato right into her face. Deidre, that's what you deserve. You've tried... Oh, we got the crime theme. I really feel like we gathered all sorts of... I, I, that's... So far, I think that's how you do it. You have to go to different areas, and then when you talk to people, I think you have a random variety of things that they could give you. Um, okay, we're just going in circles. Okay, there we go. Bard, ask for inspiration. Pit Beast, help. So let's see what kind of inspiration we can get from Kelvin, the Executioner. Oh, look at that. Merchant Antony. Everyone's lining up to throw tomatoes. Shade Jeremiah's over here. We got the crime theme from Kelvin, the Executioner. Oh, this is awesome. DJ is just getting covered in tomatoes. That's what you get. You tried to kill the queen like three times. It was ridiculous. Well, Griselda the Beast has eaten a ton of pirates and guildsmen. You know, the what with the war on and whatnot. She's been spinning things up lately and uh, the belongings of her various victims. I've just been burying them over all over the judgment pit. It seemed like the right thing to do. All right, meanwhile, we got some cool stones. So now we need to get burial maps and shovel. Gross, I have to go digging for corpse clues. Yuck. Uh, wow, that actually is really cool for inspiration for Rania though. Like, how do I get a burial map and shovel? What? From him? We're digging up the remains of what, like, <laughs> Look at the excited ex executioner. He's like, finally, my Griselda is going to be taken care of. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, well, if that's how things are. <gasps> Guys, wait, I just realized our culture is really high. Is that why all of this stuff is over here or is this for the quest? Huh, not sure. Proclamation board? Oh, this is so cool. If this happens when you have high culture, I am quite tickled. Whatever Griselda has been throwing up lately could possibly lead to clues about her health. They've been gathered close by the pit. Use the pirate barrel map to search for treasure and use the guildsman. We have to go digging for dead men's treasure. This does not sound like a job our entitled, fun-loving, insecure bard really wanted, but it sounds amazing. So we're going to have her do it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to throw a tomato into Deidre's face, please leave a like and consider subscribing to become a citizen of Moss Stone Kingdom. And I will see you guys next time for digging up Deadman's Clues. Bye-bye.